Hi guys, uh, so today I want to talk a little bit about physical activity. Specifically, I want to talk about staying physically active during the quarantine. Um, so first we're going to talk a little bit about why it's really important to stay physically active, especially right now. And then we're going to talk about different things you can do, different ways you can stay active, especially when you're stuck inside. Okay, so physical activity during quarantine, why is it super important? Essentially, it boils down to your mental health. So physical health and mental health are very intimately intertwined. And what I mean by that is that it's very difficult to have one without the other. So it's really difficult to be mentally healthy without being physically healthy. And it's really difficult to be physically healthy without being mentally healthy. For example, when you're sedentary, when you are just lounging around all day, not doing anything, which is kind of what we're all stuck doing right now, right? Because we're in the quarantine. Um, so when you're sedentary and you have low levels of physical activity, it can be really negative on your health. And not only on your physical health, like we all know, that's the first thing we think of, right? Um, low levels of physical activity, low levels of physical health, duh. But what we don't always think about is the mental repercussions of that. In other words, lower levels of physical activity can have really negative effects on the well-being and quality of life, especially mentally, um, of each individual. Okay, so let's add on self-quarantine on top of all of that that we just talked about. So self-quarantine also causes additional stress and challenges. This pandemic that we're going through causes a lot of stress. I'm sure if you're not stressed about it, then you've seen other people stressing about it. You've seen your parents stressing about it. You've seen your siblings stressing about it. You've seen people on the internet stressing about it. Everyone's stressing about it. Um, and so all of this stress mixed with low levels of physical activity can lead to an immense amount of stress on your mental health system. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that both physical activity as well as relaxation techniques are going to be really, really important in keeping us calm and um, important in protecting our health during this time. You know, maybe I should do... Yeah, next week I'm going to just delve deeper into mental health because um, clearly it's a big topic. So. Uh, especially right now. So next week's video is going to be more in-depth on mental health and ways you can uh, really help cushion your mental health and not only cushion it, but help it grow during this self-quarantine time. But for now, let's, let's rein it back in and let's talk about physical health. What I do to stay physically active during quarantine and what do I know that my friends and family are doing? So number one, uh, doing little exercises when you're walking around the house, when you're bored, watching TV, doing laundry, doing dishes, cooking, things like that. Um, during commercials of your TV show, for example, you can um, do sit-ups. Um, when you're doing your laundry, do some lunges, add some lunges in there. Um, when you're washing your dishes, maybe do some squats. Uh, I don't know, add little things here and there throughout your day so that you can make sure that you're staying um, active even when you're doing little things like well, just being in your house, right? Number two, and this is one that I've been doing, and it sounds simple, and it sounds like it doesn't do much, but it's actually been really good for me. Um, so I live in an apartment complex, and if you live in an apartment complex, you can also do this. I live on the first floor, which in Europe is the second floor, it's so confusing to me. Um, but, <laughs> but anyways, what I do three times a day is I'll start at the bottom, I'll go all the way down to the bottom of the apartment complex, complex, and I'll walk all the way up to the top of the complex and back down. And then that'll be my one time in the morning. I do it one time at lunch and I do it one time at dinner. Three times a day, just up and down the stairs of your apartment complex. And it doesn't seem like much, but it's... Um, actually really a good little break to get you out of the house, but you're not, you know, leaving your apartment complex. You're not interacting with people. You're just stepping outside of your house for a minute, which is really good to get you out of the kind of, I don't know what the word is, but like sometimes when I stay indoors the whole day, it makes me feel really 
like sluggish and gluggy. Um, and sometimes just stepping outside for two seconds to walk up and down the stairs really snaps me out of that, which is really nice. Number three, online workouts. So I do this one. I do an online yoga class. My friends and I have been challenging, ooh, challenge. <laughs> challenging each other to do this 30-day yoga challenge and I'll link it below she's awesome it's called yoga with Adrienne you can also look it up she has a couple of 30-day yoga challenges and they're really I love them they're really great um I have here I'll show you guys my yoga mat in the middle of my living room and every day um usually it'll be Within the first hour of me waking up, I'll do just a quick online yoga course. It's free, it's seemingly easy, um, and it's really like a good way to stay on top of things, especially when it's a challenge or when you're doing it with friends, because that's another way that you connect to people, right? Number four, turn on some music. This one's really fun. So, um, and again, it doesn't sound like a workout, and it's not really a workout, but it's fun. And it is some activity that get into the day. So when you're feeling lazy or bored or tired, um, turn on some of your favorite music and just dance around the house. Okay, number five. So this last one, I know that not everyone can do, and I appreciate that not everyone can do it. So make sure that you only do this one if you are physically able to. Um, but something I do is I try to go to the grocery store once a day. And not necessarily to buy a big bunch of groceries, but I get all masked and gloved up and I walk to the grocery store um, and just I'll buy a packet of gum or something like that to get myself out of the house and get my body moving a little bit in a little bit of a different way than, you know, things that you can do like calisthenics and things that you can do in your house. It's a little bit different when you're walking, right? Um, and again, only do this if you are physically healthy and able to and you don't have people in your house that it that you could potentially affect. Um, if this one scares you, don't do it. For me personally, um, as I feel comfortable doing it as long as I keep myself protected. Like I said, with my masks and my gloves and um, washing my hands before and after I go. Um, but yeah, so if you can, if you're able to, I definitely recommend walking to the grocery store once every couple of days just to get yourself out of the house. All right, well, that's my video on physical activity. Um, like I said, next week I'll go more into mental health um, because I know that's something that we're all dealing with right now is keeping our mental health um, vibrant, right? Um, but I'm saying I'm a lot, aren't I? Uh, anyways, um, oh gosh, I'm doing it now. I'm going <laughs> to notice it every time I do it. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys are doing uh, to stay physically active. And yeah, so let me know in the comments what you've been doing to stay physically active and if you try any of these uh, suggestions.